Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect and we grow. If you have been using Pivot Table for a while, there's one feature that you have probably not paid attention to but can save you a lot of time. That is filled items and sets. In a short video, we are going to go through all three and we'll explore how you can use them to analyze data in certain specific situations. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in five minutes. So this is the sample data we are going to use. It's just a record of transactions, income and expenses. And before we proceed, let's go through some definitions. First, what is a field? So if you have this table, fields are what we normally call columns, right? So date, description, category and amount are fields. Okay, so let's pull these out so I'm going to use transpose okay and then I'm going to select these headers and this is my list of fields okay so note that now let's talk about items so in each field example in category you have items okay so charity clothing and so on are items in the category field right so here if I want to pull the list of unique okay items i can just select the column and then i have this okay so we have fields and items now when i create a pivot table if i'm able to generate a new column or field okay that was not in the source data then i have created a calculated field so that is calculated field same way if i am able to generate an item that is not an item in the source data as you can see here okay then I have created what we call a calculated item okay then the third one is sets okay so see sets as a custom field so what I mean is that I can take any of these fields okay and then decide what it should show okay so I can filter out some elements okay and then it will bring me certain specific items when I drag them into the row or column section. There are use cases for that we'll see shortly. So for now, let's go through some examples on creating calculated fields, calculated items and sets. So this is already an Excel table. So I'm going to insert a pivot table by standing in the table. I'll go to insert pivot table and then I'll insert from table or range. Now here's the thing. If we are calculating fields and items, we don't need to add to the data model. So note that it's only when you are creating sets that you need to add to the data model. Okay, so I'm putting this in a new worksheet and it's going to bring me my pivot table. Okay, so I now have my pivot table. Now, in my pivot table, I want to analyze amount, okay, by category. So this gives me the breakdown of my total amount you realize that the income lines okay are not negated while the expense lines are negated so as an example you see consultancy here I see investments and I see salary so take note of these three now what I can do is I can create a new column called tithe that calculates 10% if the line is an income line okay let's learn how we we'll create this while you stand in the pivot table, you see these two contextual tabs, analyze and design. So we'll go to analyze and you see fields, items and sets there. So you drop it down and we are going to calculate a calculated field. So I'll choose calculated field. It asks you for the name. So I'm going to call this type. Okay, and I'll put in my formula. So here you're allowed to put in simple and complex formulas depending on what you are trying to achieve. So the only key thing here is that the formula will be using the existing fields. So I'll use if. So if my sum of amounts or amount is greater than zero, okay, then I want you to multiply that number by 10%. Otherwise, comma zero. Then I'll close my brackets. So this is going to be added once I click OK. Okay, so you realize that it's only the income lines that have 
the calculation done and this is a field that I didn't have in my source data so this is a calculated field right now let's look at the calculated item these ones I've marked in yellow are income lines okay so let's say for some specific situations I don't want these three showing differently I want to put them together as an income line okay so this is where a calculated item will be useful so again standing in here I'll go to fills items and sets and I'm going to choose calculated item right so I can call it income and then my formula is just going to be a simple addition so here I'm doing it from the category field and I'll take consultancy you can double click hit the plus sign I'll come down and then take investments okay hit the plus sign and then I'll go down and then pick salary so this is going to come in as a new income line okay so let me spell this correctly so this is my income and then I'll click OK okay so here's what is going to happen it now registers at the bottom okay so this is a summation 24,000 4,000 okay and then 23,000 that gives me 51,405 so in situations where I don't want these three splits I can just use this line okay and let me remove this up to so I can hold this and I just insert it here now when you have this in place to avoid double counting you can always filter out consultancy okay and then you can also filter out investments and then you can also filter out your salary and then I click OK okay so this is now a consolidation of the three items put in one I use calculated items to create this now let's go to sets okay so as I mentioned when you are creating sets you need to add the data to the data model okay to be able to create sets so we we'll start a new pivot table in sets pivot table from table slash range and then I check add this to the data model and then I'll click OK okay so it loads the data model and I'm able to now see my pivot table the only difference now is that this is from the data model so now I'll do amount analyzed by category okay and let me bring in dates so I can put dates okay in the row section as well looks a bit messy at the moment but what I want to do is I want to select one of the date items right click and then group okay so I can group into quarters okay so I have something like this okay so for each quarter I have my category and then I have my amount now let's say I want to create one new field okay a custom field that is going to show me income for quarter one okay so here I'm customizing the quarter because I want to see only quarter one I'm also customizing category I want to see only the three income lines okay so that with this I can just drag into the row section and then I have my analysis done so how do we do that so to do that again you stand in the pivot table okay and then you go to field items and sets and we are able to create sets based on row items okay you can also do on column items as well so I'll select this now by default you get how the pivot table was okay so we listed all the quarters and all the categories we can start off by naming our set so I'm going to name this quarter one income okay and I prefer starting with a clean sheet you can edit if you want so I'm going to delete all the existing rules here and then start off in a clean sheet so this is a clean sheet I can now add a row so I can say that for dates I want only quarter one and then show me the first income line which is consultancy I can copy the row and then change consultancy to investment copy the row again and then change this to salary right so I now have this custom field called quarter one income and then I click OK okay so when I do this this is what I get I now have a new field called sets called quarter one okay so as an example if 
I didn't have anything here and then I had only amount instead of going through all that process I can just drag quarter one here into rows and just like that my custom field is created so field items and sets allow you to create custom columns custom items and then also combine the fields to see the filtered items that you want to see when you push them into rows or columns this can save you a lot of time i'm sure you have some use cases please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.